Hello, 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 gorgeous people. You are welcome back again to my channel. Happy new month to you guys. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I made this Ankara reversible skirt. Yeah, it's actually possible to have a reversible skirt. If you haven't seen the video of my top, my reversible pinafore, kindly check it out on my YouTube channel. So today, without wasting much time, I'll be showing you how I created this beautiful piece. If this sounds like what you would love to watch, kindly watch it to the end. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button when you are done watching. And please do me a favor to like, comment and share this video. Let's get started. Here are the materials needed for this tutorial, my gum stay, measuring tape, my bias, my elastic, the two different fabrics, my scissors, pins, and of course my chalk. Here are the measurements, you only just need two measurements, that's the full length of the skirt and your round hip measurements. I had already cut out the fabric and I also attached another piece to the fabric. So here is the measurement of the full fabric now. It's about 55 inches because I need it for my front panel and the back panel. Okay. So here is it there. So the full length of this is about 21 inches. And that also depends on you. If you want yours to be longer or shorter, you can make it like that. So this fabric is just the same measurement with the other fabric. So let me be working with this one and know that whatever I do on this fabric is what I will also do on the other fabric because it's a reversible skirt. What I'll be doing now is to divide my round hip into four. My round hip measurement is 43 inches. So divided by four is about 10.9. So I just approximated it to 11 inches. So I'll be folding the fabric into two. But I'll add extra joining and sewing allowance, so I made it 13 inches instead, okay? And this one I'm folding at the moment is for the back piece. It's going to be wider because there will be slit at the back. So it's definitely going to be wider than the front piece. And here is me cutting it into two. I just repeated the same step for the other fabric. When I was done with the other fabric, I got my gum stay, then I attached it to the base of the skirt and where the slit will be, okay? So this is actually for the back panel of the skirt. I'll be doing it for the second piece too. Then again, I'll repeat the same step for the other fabric. So basically, I just attached my gum stay to the base of the skirt, both for the front and the back piece then the slit area so this is how it looks this is for one fabric okay and i did the same thing for this other fabric hope you guys understand the next thing is to work on the back piece so i'm just going to bring the two together this way with the two right sides facing each other then i'll pin it down this is me just transferring my measurement so i will have about two inches to play with i'll be sewing along that line and i will leave about five inches opening that will serve as the slit of the skirts of course i did the same thing for the other fabric you can as well go ahead to iron flat so here is how it looks this part of this tutorial is kind of technical so you are going to pay more attention to this part what i did here was to place the two right sides together and i'll just be holding them down with pins just take your time here because if you miss here your slit will not lap very well so i took my time i made sure they were very aligned so i'll just be sewing it in that manner okay i'll sew it that way and i will sew this other side this way okay then i will leave the waist part open 
I'm done doing it, I'll just be turning it to the right side. You can as well notch that part. If, you, if it doesn't look very flat, you can notch that slit area. But I didn't do that because mine was very flat. So look at what I did here. I just turned it to the right side, brought out the fabrics uh, inside. Then I went ahead to give it a good press. Okay. And the back part of this skirt is ready. Coming to the front part of the skirt is easier. So it's just to sew the two and turn to the right side. So we are also done making the front part of this skirt. I would have put um, that, but it wasn't big enough. So I just let it that way. So look at me trying to mark out my original round hip measurement. And that is it right there. I have about two inches left after taking my round hip measurement. So I divided the two inches into two. So I'm going to be marking one inch on this side and I'll be repeating the same one inch on the other side. Hope that makes sense. I also went ahead to connect the points. Watch what I'm going to do here. I took the other fabric and I pinned it on that line. I'll be doing it for the other side as well. On that one inch mark that I marked initially, I will just be remarking it and I'll be sewing on that line. If you take a good look at this, you will see that the right side of this piece is facing the right side of the skirt. So I'm just repeating the same process. I'll pin it down, then mark the one inch and I will just sew on that line. I had to just show these parts with my sewing machine so that you will see what I actually did. So when I was done stitching down, I took the extra piece or the remaining piece backward then I folded in the rough edge. If you are watching this video, when you get to this part and you seem not to understand, try to make it slow so you understand what I did here, the magic I did here exactly. So I am done doing for that piece and this for the other side, okay? Did you notice anything? I took like a piece of this fabric to mix with this one such that when i put the two together okay i will now sew along that line where i introduced this other fabric okay make sure it's properly aligned then i will sew on it so that the initial fabric won't appear i don't know how to really explain that part just watch it carefully you understand the trick i did here because i really wanted the skirt to be reversible okay so i just place the two together and I made sure I use many pins to hold it because I didn't want to do any kind of sewing that people will be like, ah, what is this? So I'm done stitching on the two sides. So let me turn it to the other side so you can see how it looks. So this is the other side actually. This place looks very okay. Can you see it? It looks very okay. Then this is the other side of the fabric. In a way, you won't see the other one. Here is where you will do another magic. You are going to just stitch this down so that it becomes flat. You will stitch it down. And after I stitched down, I didn't stop there. I went ahead to use my bias to cover the stitching so that it will look like design. But when I put the orange color bias, it was shouting. So I removed it and I replaced it with the blue buyer. So I felt this one was kind of better. But if you feel you can use any other color of your choice is good. So I removed the orange color buyers and I replaced it with the blue one. So in a way, let me say we are 80% done with the skirt. So this is one side of the skirt and the other side of the skirt. So I will just set that aside now. It's time to work on the waist. This kind of skirt the best kind of waist to use is not zip. It's better you use like an, an elastic so it will make it more beautiful. 
cut out an elastic of about 34 inches and unfold is 17 inches. It's actually an elastic, so it has to be smaller than your original waist or hip measurement. So I have a long piece that is long enough to wrap the skirt or to form the band of the skirt. The width of this band is about three and a half inches and the length is about, um, say, 50 or 55 inches, just long enough to form the band of the skirt actually. So watch what I'll be doing here. I'm just going to be placing the two this way so that they can be equal. So I'm just trying to cut out the excess of the other fabric. I went ahead to join the two fabrics this way. And here is how it looks. I'll just be folding it into two this way. And again, I gave it a good press. This is me trying to also join the two ends of the fabrics. And here is how it looks. This is me just trying to double check the width of the band. So we are good to go. I got my elastic band, which is about 34 inches long. And I'll be stitching the two ends this way. Alright, so when I was done doing that, I placed the elastic in between the fabric. Watch what I did here. I opened the fabric up. Then I pinned down one end of the elastic. Just watch what I did. I believe you will understand it. So look at what I did here. I just opened the fabric up. I pinned down one end. Then I will just go ahead to stitch down. Here is how it looks after stitching. So before I attach it to the skirt, I will just fold in like about half an inch and I'll go ahead to iron it flat. So this is how I'm just going to place it. I'll be placing the raw end of the skirt that's on the waist side. I'll be placing it in between this elastic band. I'll just put it inside. Again, you will need a lot of pins here because you want to hide the fabric. So you will put it inside when you are done pinning everything then you take it to the sewing machine to stitch neatly guys we are done making a reversible skirt just see how this came out it came out very very nice so reversible skirt is actually very possible so this is the other side of the skirt all shades of beauty every any of the sides is just good to go so in a way i have two skirts in one if you have watched this video to this point and you haven't subscribed yet, please, what are you waiting for? Kindly support me by subscribing. If you have not subscribed yet, do like, comment, and share this video. Once again, happy new month and see you all in my next tutorial. Bye.